Hello guys, we are back with our next tutorial. In this tutorial, let us go through Java AWT dialog guys. So basically, if you ask me what is dialog, it is nothing but a dialog box guys. Basically, we need to call it with a dialog box. So it is almost similar to frame. Where the difference between these two is that the frame will be having three icons on the top right corner. Right, so the three icons are these three icons guys. One will the minimize, maximize and close. Fine. Whereas the dialog box will be having only one that is nothing but cross to close it. There are no minimize or maximize guys. So that's the only difference between dialog and frames. Fine. Okay. So the dialog control represents a top level window with a border and a title used to take some of the inputs from the users. It is inherited from window class. Fine. Unlikely frame, it does not have maximize and minimize buttons. Yeah, that's what we have told, have told you. Frames versus dialog box. Frames and dialog box both inherit from window class. Frames have maximize and minimize buttons where dialog box does not have them. Fine. So now let us go through a small example so that we will be having a clear idea. Initially, we collected the AWT files. We also inherited the event files here. We started a class dialog example. We have created a static dialog D. We have started a constructor, initialized the frame, initialized the value of D is equal to new dialog with the example dialog example with the true appearance and set set layout is new layout and button we are initializing the button to be OK. Fine. Okay, so now we are giving some action to the button. Guys. So when now you click something will happen right okay v dot add action listener new action listener public void action performed action event e dialog example dot d dot set visibility to be false okay so if there is any action done just the dialog should become null guys that is nothing but the dialog should become nothing it should be invisible that's it fine okay so d dot add next label we are adding the label to be click button to continue we are adding that button to our dialog box so d dot add button then d dot set size 300 comma 300 then d dot set visibility true fine so at the end we will be starting a public static void main we'll be constant we'll be initializing the constructor fine okay so this is how we write a small program for dialog box guys Basically, I think there is no need for writing this frame also, but uh, we should write it guys because we'll be using it in initialization or creation of a dialog box. Fine. So you'll be getting an output like this guys. So once you click OK, this message will be hidden. So that is the action that is going on. So now I hope everyone got a clear idea on dialog in AWT in Java. So in the next tutorial, we'll be going through AWT file dialog class. Okay guys, so let us meet in the next tutorial. Thank you. Thanks for watching.